2022 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 kind of like a rolling theme park. Its monstrous 760 horsepower supercharged V8 launches the coupe with eye-watering force, and its immense grip causes sensations of euphoria or nausea or both. All the while its thrilling exhaust note provides the soundtrack, and a rapid shifting automatic transmission handles gear change for the rear drive only coupe. The Shelby GT500 isn't just the mightiest Mustang ever, it's also the most powerful road car Ford has ever built. Despite the ability to soil people's undergarments on demand, it's still a Mustang at heart, meaning it doubles as a daily driver. Opting for the carbon fiber track pack optimizes the GT500's performance, but it also costs almost a quarter of the Shelby's base price. For some owners, that money will be better spent on fueling this thirsty beast or paying the inevitable influx of speeding tickets. With 2022 marking 55 years since the birth of the original Shelby GT500, Ford is offering the current model with a limited production heritage edition. Essentially an appearance package, it consists of a Britney blue paint job with the choice of Wimbledon white or absolute black twin stripes from stem to stern. The commemorative look costs $2,140, but that's with vinyl stripes, the option to have them hand-painted is $10,000. Ford also adds code orange to the Shelby's color palette. Want to spend even more money on a GT500? A limited number of GT500 KR, four king of the road, models will also be produced, each offering over 900 horsepower. The Shelby GT500 isn't only the most powerful Mustang, it's also the most expensive. The carbon fiber track pack, 20-inch carbon fiber wheels, aerodynamic add-ons, stickier Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, and other weight-saving measures, costs $18,500, but we're extremely impressed with the GT500 even without the pricey package. So, we'd recommend only a few options. The handling package allows front suspension adjustments and adds improved aero with splitter wickers and a gurney flap. The available Recaro front seats don't have power adjustments or heated and cooled cushions, but they better match the car's personality and are comfortable and supportive.